This is TJ. He's 17 years old and he has never made a beat in his life. So you've never actually made music before? No, I've never uh, I've never had any experience whatsoever with it. We chatted on Discord for a bit and he told me he has been wanting to get into music production for a while but has no idea where to start. So I had an idea. Over the next 24 hours, I'm going to teach him all the basics about making beats, how to build chords, melodies, drum patterns, everything. We're gonna turn him from complete beginner to pro, or well, as close as we can get in a short amount of time. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna be a blast. Yes. <laughs> I hope he's gonna have fun, and I think you guys are gonna learn a thing or two as well, even if you're not total beginners. Anyway, we spent the first 10 minutes kinda going over the Ableton interface, the layout, and where everything is. Wait, so you're talking about where it says uh, reverb delay? Uh, no, the one at the very bottom. Oh, like, okay, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I quickly realized how much small stuff there is that I just give for granted, but that it's actually not that simple for someone who has never made music before. For. This was gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Let me think of the simplest way to do this. <laughs> so go to the top left, like next to where it says grand piano. Top left. Click it, then drag that out all the way to nine. To nine? Yeah, perfect. I know right now it's super confusing. It's gonna make sense, I promise. <laughs> anyway, there's no better way to learn something than to just get into it and do it. So we decided to start by making some chords. Chords are really scary, but they're actually like super, super easy. Okay, so right now, if you double click anywhere on that little space, that little grid at the bottom, it's gonna add a note. First note. <laughs> awesome. There we get somewhere. I'm gonna teach you how to build a major chord and a minor chord. Okay. Major chords are happy and minor chords are sad. Do we wanna go major or minor? Do we wanna do something happy or something sad? Uh, let's go somewhere major, some happy. To build a major chord, this is what you do. You take your starting note, right now it's our C, but it could be anything. Let's call it one. Okay. And then you have to add a second note at number five. So if that's one, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and that's your second note. Two, three, four, and then, uh, so right here? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. And then you have to do eight. Eight, and then that should be B sharp too? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually gonna be a G. Oh, uh, just a plain old G? So right there. So that's a major chord. Now that we had our first chord, we were starting to feel confident. He was getting comfortable creating notes, extending them, moving them around. He was building all those muscle memory skills that are just second nature for any producer. So yeah, I'll do a major then. So one, two, three, four, five. So then that's gonna be F sharp. Yeah, you're killing it, dude. <laughs> I love it. And just like that, we had our chord progression. His first chord progression. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> mm. uh, you say it would be good to bring the tempo up to like 107? Yeah, let's try it. No rules. Whatever you like, really. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. I like how fast it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a little bit, but I got it. <laughs> it's hard, dude. I'm having a blast right now, man. I was extremely happy to really starting to see him get into it, and I knew we were about to get to the really fun part. I had a question for him though. Do you know the difference between a kick drum, a snare, a hi-hat? Yeah, I don't know what they mean. <laughs> okay, so kick drum is like snare, it's like or like a clap, that's also kind of a snare. Okay. And then the hi-hat is the little Oh, okay. The first thing we're gonna pick is a kick drum. Okay, I found that. One. Just wanted to let you know you can find this kick drum and a bunch more sounds in a free drum kit we just released on rmspeakers.com. It's called Earthquake. You can download it at the link in the description. 100% free. Go grab it. Now we have to pick our snare. I like this one. I want this one. Now that he had a couple sounds, we put down a really simple pattern. Then without me really saying anything, he kind of just started adding, experimenting. I love that he started getting creative literally from the beginning. Anyway, this is what he came up with. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that one. Nice. I like it, dude. Thank you. We need to pick a hi-hat. So I gave him complete creative freedom with the hats. I was really curious to just know where he was gonna take it all on his own. So then uh, try it like this. That's gonna sound weird, but let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, nah, that ain't it. <laughs> Select all those notes that you did and then just move them on one to the left. Oh. Yeah, that's more clear. I'm gonna teach you how to do a roll and then you can kind of go crazy and do whatever you want. All right. So that note, we're gonna make it way shorter. Control D, Control D, Control D. Oh. So you can add as many of those as you want. Well, not too many, but you can add a couple more. The uh, hi-hats, there's a lot you can do with this. He wasn't kidding. This man took his hi-hats seriously. He just started adding a bunch of rolls, just a bunch of stuff. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, I really like how it sounds when it goes up. Dude, literally not even an hour ago, TJ had no idea what Ableton even looked like. And now he's got chords, he's got drums, he's killing it. And I can tell that he's getting really, really into it. Yeah, this is crazy, man. It's time to show him the power of 808s. 808s. I like this one. I didn't want to throw too much information at him all at once, but I couldn't resist. I had to show him how to do octaves with the 808. Yeah, now I can't wait to make another beat. I am genuinely so happy that he wanted to keep going. I can tell that he really loves this and that gave me an idea. I'm gonna give TJ 24 hours to make a beat all on his own and then he's gonna send it to me and I'm gonna fix it up. He has a ton of potential, now he just needs to practice. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow. And speaking of practice, while I'm waiting for him to send me his beat, I'm gonna go practice my piano skills. This is Melodics, and it's something that I've been using pretty much on a daily basis for a while, and it's taught me so much about building chord progressions, just keys in general. A92 out of 100, that's not bad. I'm okay with that. <laughs> they have over 1,500 courses, lessons, and exercises for keys, drum pads, and electronic drum sets. At the moment, I've been studying all their jazz core classes, and now I can play stuff like this, which I couldn't do up until a little while ago. <laughs> I love Melodics, I use it all the time, and I'm so happy that I'm able to give you guys a discount and also a chance to win $1,000. So make sure to click the link at the top of the description and use code GIVEAWAY20 to get your membership and you'll immediately be entered for the $1,000 giveaway. If you sign up and win, they will literally send you $1,000, so it's a win-win. <laughs> Melodics is great, I can't recommend it enough. Check out the link. All right, we got the beat back from TJ. Let's see what he did. Okay. Okay, obviously it needs a little bit of work, it's his first beat by himself, but I can see what he was trying to do though, I can see the idea. Let's see what we can do to fix it up. Okay, I'm gonna mess with these chords a little bit. Ooh, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Let's pitch it all down a little bit. This melody is kind of fire now. I like this a lot. <laughs> okay, drums. Let me add bass, then we'll send it to him. I can't wait to see his reaction. All right, that's it. I think I'm done. Let's send it to TJ and see what he thinks. Dude, this beat actually came out pretty fire and I had a blast too. You guys get this video to 10k likes. I'm picking somebody else from my Instagram, another beginner. We're doing this again. I'm out.